2013 Toyota Camry. This thing has no blower speeds. So I'm going to attack the blower motor first, see if I can figure this out. The blower motor is underneath the dash. First thing I got to do is try to get this panel off. Um, if I get a flashlight in here, I can see there's little tabs in here and I can push in on them and pull these little clips out. There's four of those. And I got this thing on here. Looks like I can pinch this and pull it out. Pinch these little tabs in here. You can see those. Get this panel out of my way. There's a connector for it here. Just got to push in on that and pull it out. I'm going to turn the key on, turn the blower on high, and um, I think the black wire is a ground and the other white wire is the positive. And that red wire, you can just pretend that's not even there. And I got no light on my test light, so there's no power going to this blower motor. I'm going to break out my power probe now, and uh, I got a ground, and I got no power. Since I got my power probe out, I might as well test this blower motor and make sure it's good. I got some of these little jobbies I, I stole out of a Saturn fuse box. I ripped the fuse box apart, and these are in between the fuses and the box. They're pretty slick for doing some testing. I'm just going to stick them up in the flats for the blower motor. My ground on this power probe should be this black wire, so my ground should be this one here. I'm just going to clip the ground for my power probe on that. And it says it's completing a circuit. I'm going to fire it up. It does nothing, and I just tripped my circuit breaker on my power probe. So I got a bad blower motor, and I got no power going into this blower motor. And I got to find out why. I had to find a wiring diagram for this thing, and it says there's a fuse under the fuse box next to the battery. This bar right here. Oh yeah, there's a blown fuse in here. If you can see that funky spot right there, there's one, two, three, four, five, there's six fuses in this one bar. And that one right there is no good, and that's for the blower motor. You can tell it's all blown out. So I got to get that out of there. Looks like I'm going to have to get one of these fuse bars and a blower motor for this thing. Well, give it up for Toyota. I called Toyota and there's nobody in the Twin Cities metropolitan area that has one of these fuse bars. They say they're special order and they're three days out. This guy needs his car too and he needs his heat. It's freezing cold outside and he's got kids and crayons in the car and everything else. So I'm just going to take this out. I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do here. I'm going to try to makeshift something on this. I'm going to take this negative battery terminal off. I don't want any power running through the car when I'm messing with this fuse box. I have a 10 millimeter here. The battery was a 10 millimeter too. Got a magnet here. I'm just going to Get that nut off of there. I can get in here with a pick. And I got to push a black piece of plastic over to one side. I should be able to get under here and just pull this out. Get this out of the way. I can get in here with a pair of pliers and I can pull this 
shorting bar or fuse box straight out. Get a little better look at it there. You can see it's totally blown out. I'm looking down in this fuse box and it looks like the only powers that's being used is the one for the blower motor and you can see there's there's four open holes and um, I don't know there's a piece of metal right there that's probably touching something so this fuse and this fuse is the only one being used and these other four are not being used for anything so maybe I can just I don't know I don't know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take this fuse box apart look at it on with the destructive behavior there's some little clips here I'm gonna try not to break It looks like I'm going to break them because this, yeah, they're breaking. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, that bar's out. Yeah, it looks like there's a total solid copper bar all the way across the top. So I can't do anything with that, except put this back together. Okay, I think I know what I'm going to do. Um, I'm just going to use a 30 amp fuse. Most blower motors are about 25, 30 amps, so that should work just fine. And uh, I'm going to stab this down into the hole. And I'm going to cut this out so this will fit and go around it. And, um, and I'm going to put the other end of this 30 amp fuse, I'm going to bolt it right here. So I'm, I'm basically just bypassing this fuse, fuse block. So it's just going to be like this. Get a little more wire off of this. I think I'm going to take this insulator off of here. It'll probably just get in my way and I don't I don't really need it. I'll just pull it out. That should be a nice crimp. Dirty hack. Okay, let's see if I'm uh, good for anything here. Take a little baby needle nose and make sure that's stabbed all the way down there. I'm going to take a little more off of this, get it a little more off. Okay, I really dug down that time because I, I need that wire to go around the fuse. I 
I got to take even more yet off, just a little bit more. Did a little rat tail action that time. It's perfect. Okay, I put an eye on this one. I, I actually had to drill it out so it, so it fit on here because for some reason, all of these electrical connectors that you buy are never six millimeter. Don't understand that, but whatever. Um, I want to stab it in here underneath this plastic. And it won't fit, so I'm going to drill a hole in this too. At least try to. Try to stab that in there like that. How do you like me now, Toyota? All right, now I'm going to try to put this thing back together. I can't imagine these get tightened any more than six foot pounds. Uh, yeah. Okay. Magic. Looks like I have three eight millimeter bolts for this blower motor. Well, that came out without a hassle. Out with the old, in with the new. Okay, plug this thing in. Okay, I hooked up the battery. Everything's plugged in. Turn on the key. Let's see if I got a blower. Oh, yeah. Scared me for a second there. I turned the key to on and I got no blower, but I started it up and it started working. Time to do the black panel thing. There's a couple pegs in the back that you got to line up. Plug that in. Push this thing on. And uh, it's a job. Okay, bye.